Tarot. I am back with the Intuitive Fridays. If you don't know about this reading, just some quick announcements. Um, I do each element, and in between the element is a time. If you would like the opportunity to win a free 30-minute reading, then what you have to do is you have to go down to my comment board, and you have to watch the times in between when I start the elements and write it down. So it's called time stamping. Okay, so time stamp when I start fire, water, earth, and air. Okay, keep it all together in one comment. All right, because if you put like air 310 and then all the way down the comment board is your other posts and your other posts, no, keep it all together in one full comment. Okay, if you spread it out like that, you lessen your chances of winning. All right. I love you so much. I choose two winners from this. Okay. And it's a free 30 minute reading and you will know whether you won because right up under your message or your timestamp, I will write down. Okay. Congratulations. Reserve your free 30 minute reading and you have up to a week to do so. Okay. Now, instead of the way I used to do it, I'm going to do it a little different. We are going to go from April the 5th through the 12th. So it's Intuitive Fridays. We're going to start having it either Thursday night or on Friday. And it's going to run from Friday to Friday. Okay. So it's still a weekly reading, but it's going from Friday to Friday. Okay. All right. So first up, we have my Leos, Aries, Sagittarius. First of all, I want to thank you so much, Leo. I get so much love from Leos. I get views like crazy from Leos. Leos are so supportive of each other. I love you so much. You guys know I am a Leo and I do appreciate you. Definitely take advantage this month. Remember, uh, for the Zodiac sign of Leo, for the month of April, I am giving away two free one-hour readings for the sign of Leo just for your continued support, your continued love, your views, your shares. I watch all of that and that means the world to me. Um, how you win that is simply by putting down why you feel you need the reading on my comment board. You do not have to write your whole situation out, just why you feel you need the reading, okay? Or why you want to get this read. Why should I give this reading to you versus someone else, okay? Like a small interview. You do not have to put your whole situation, okay? If your situation is personal, I totally understand. You do not send your whole story to my email. That's not going to make you win either, okay? It goes in the comment board under Leo's April reading, okay? So let's see what's happening with you guys. I am using a pagan tarot again, and I am using reversals in this deck, okay? So let's see what's happening. Spirit and uni universe, what's the message you got for my fire signs? Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, for the week of April the 5th through the 12th. Give me some of the most relevant stories. Show me what's happening with my lovebirds out here. Give me the love story. I only care about the love story. I don't really care about the finances and work. If they give it to me, okay, cool. But I really care about the love story, okay? We are all looking for love. Okay, two more here. Fire signs. Okay, here we go. Fire signs. And I do want to say uh, Sagittarius and Aries... That is not to make you guys exempt. It's just that Leo kicks ass every month when it comes to the views, okay? I mean, the shit just shoot out of nowhere, okay? So if you want the opportunity to get your free one-hour reading, I have to see that you guys are supporting me as well, okay? Get your views up, all right? I've been on here two years, guys, and the views are so shitty. Sometimes I feel like quitting, all right? It does not match my subscribers. I have thousands of subscribers, and, and my views are terrible, Okay, a lot of you guys don't watch it to the end. I don't know if I'm talking too much. I don't know if y'all don't like my readings, whatever the case may be. Okay, but comment down below. Let me know. Okay, be honest with me. If y'all don't like my readings, let me know. Okay, first card out. We got the Knight of Cups. Okay, we have the Ace of Wands in the reverse. All right, so this is going to be interesting. Seven of Pentacles. Okay. Ten of Wands, okay. One more. The Moon in reverse. All right. So under the Knight of Cups, we got the Lovers. Under the Ace of Wands in reverse, we have the Empress. Okay, under Seven of Pentacles, we have the Five of Pentacles. 
Under the Ten of Wands, we have the Queen of Cups in the reverse. And under the Moon in reverse, we have the Magician. Okay. The overall energy for my fire signs is the Queen of Wands. Okay, Linda. All right, so this is definitely going to be very relevant for my Aries and Sagittarius, okay? So you guys are going to stand out this week. There's, um, So it just basically means that the reading is definitely going to point towards um, initiation, passion, how much effort and energy you put into uh, wanting what you want, okay, or getting what you want, all right? So basically what this reading is saying, I'm looking at the Knight of Cups and the Lovers. It basically says that you guys are waiting for love, okay? Fire signs are frustrated when it comes down to love. Let me back this up a little bit because I want to make sure you guys get all the cards. Fire signs are frustrated when it comes to love. We feel like we're waiting a long time for love to pop off. And then when we finally do get the opportunity to be in a relationship, it's short-lived with the Ace of Wands in the reverse, okay? We can't seem to find someone that's solid, that actually stick around, someone that we can consider ourselves um, getting married to or spending a long haul with, okay? Why is that? Okay, well, we have the Seven of Pentacles. The Seven of Pentacles simply represents waiting, okay? Or it could also represent already doing all that you can, okay? And now it's pretty much up to the universe, okay? So it's kind of like, all right, I put the seeds in the ground. I watered the bitch every day. Where's my damn flowers? Why didn't I, you know, produce crops, okay? We have the Five of Pentacles that is right up under that. So the Five of Pentacles sort of represents to uh, feel all alone or basically I put a lot of effort and energy into building this particular relationship and then I came up short. This person is not there to simply support me. Why is that? Okay, well, if you're dealing with a water sign, Cancer Pisces in particular, it could be that Cancer Pisces has a lot on their plate with the Ten of Wands being there, okay? They could already be in a situation. They could be trying to end a situation, all right? But it's taking some time, okay? It's a possibility that maybe this water sign is already married to someone else. I have the Empress here on board, okay? Then I also have the Lovers, all right? So this could represent a third-party situation. So you could be in love or head over heels about an individual that is already taken. That person could be a water sign, Cancer Pisces. Not to mention, it could also be another fire sign, Aries, uh, Leo, Sagittarius, like yourself, okay? Um, and maybe basically what it is pretty much saying is that you're in love with someone else's boyfriend, someone else's husband, or something like that, okay? The reason why it's taking so long is because your motives. I'm about to help y'all. Y'all ain't ready. Y'all ain't ready for Bella Dutch. I'm going to preach to you, okay? Catch this. Catch this. Okay. You're in love with someone. And the person that you're in love with is already married. But you don't feel really bad. You feel bad, but you don't feel really bad because the marriage is already falling apart. He or she has told you that they sleep in separate beds or that they've been separated for a while. So you think, okay, well, if they've been separated and they're not together, why don't my relationship develop with this person? Let me tell you what acc acclimates the universe to begin to move on your behalf. We have the moon in the reverse. The moon in the reverse is to be delusional. Okay. I've said this before, and I'm going to say it again. If you were God and you had 6 billion people on the planet, you could bet your ass that there's about four different women that may be praying for one man or four different guys that's praying for one woman. All right. How does God decide who deserves that one man? Well, I'm going to tell you how. How bad do you want it? It's all in a motive. Okay. Now, the moon in reverse with the magician says that the reason why you can't get the universe to work in your favor and send this man or this woman to you is because you haven't made it clear why you want this person. All right. You're looking for the vanity of it. I want him because I've been single for a long time and I feel I deserve a boyfriend. I want him because I had him first and we broke up and I don't want her to have him. Your reasoning behind why you want this person Spirit doesn't feel it's necessary to take him out of his home. Okay. Whereas that broken family or that broken relationship that you think that he's in, you may think it's broken, but the truth of the matter is that woman still loves him or that man still loves that woman and their intentions are pure. Okay. So the secret is this. 
check your motive. Check your motives. Another thing I'm going to tell you is you got the Ten of Wands here with the Queen of Cups in the reverse. The Queen of Cups in reverse could be uh, someone who really doesn't know how to love, someone who is um, very obsessed. They could be a little bit narcissistic. They can be smothering in a way, okay? Um, as well as, you know, maybe because they've been through so many things with the Ten of Wands being there that they don't trust anyone, okay? Especially in matters of when it comes to the heart. Meanwhile, you've been making this guy breakfast, lunch, and dinner. You've been having sex with him. You've been playing the wifey role without the title, but he already has a wife. But you're wondering why you can't win. I said a million words in that one sentence, check your motive. All you have to do is want them more than anyone else wants them. And the universe will give it to you. That's all you have to do. That's what the Queen of Wands is about. The Queen of Wands is a planner. When she desires something, she goes after it. She doesn't give a fuck what it takes to get it. She will fight for it. She will step on you to get it. Okay? So the Queen of Wands is about activating yourself to truly go after what it is that you desire. And and I'm not talking about call him a thousand times, run over to, you know, keep riding past his house. That's not going to help you. What's going to help you is to change internal. It's an internal change. Remember, when we're speaking of wands, we're speaking of creativity. We're speaking of your desires. Okay, so this is something that happens internally. All right. When your motives align with spirit, you do not have to chase a person around. You do not have to cry and beg them and, and text them a thousand times. You don't have to do that. So, Bella, how do I check my motives? How do I know what motives are right? What turns the universe on is to get paid, repaid with their debt. They want to know that you want a relationship because you want to understand who you are. I'm giving y'all the secret. You better pay attention. They want to know that the reason why I need this person in my life is to understand myself. And no matter what this person puts me through, I'm willing to go through it. That's the part that usually makes people end up single. Because they want the person, but they want the illusion of the person. They don't want the actual person. They want their illusion that they made up. They want this good man that comes home every day, takes them on picnics, marries them, has children with them, helps them with the kids, goes to work and all that. But the guy that you chose may not be that type of guy. He might be narcissistic. He's a fucking cheater. He's abusive as hell. He likes to drink all the time. He's addicted to drugs. You understand what I'm saying to you? So what's going on is the reason why spirit is delaying or not giving this person to you is because you have expectations and your expectations doesn't fit the actual person that you think you're in love with. You're less than after a person that doesn't fit into your Rolodex of what you tell the universe you want. Never thought of that, huh? Listen. I can go on forever, but you can hit me up this weekend. I'm running a special, special 50 weekend. Okay. Hit me up. All seeing at gmail.com. Okay. You're the second people to know about it. So definitely take advantage. I already know my Leo's got me. I know I'm gonna get a flood of Leo's this weekend. Okay. Cause Leo don't play when Leo book for an invoice, they pay their invoice. They're very loyal. Okay. Don't request the invoice unless you are ready to pay because you only get 48 hours on that invoice. As well as when I'm running a special, like the special 50 is only running for the weekend. So it's only running two days anyway. Okay. Take advantage of that. Hit me up. All seeing at tarot at gmail.com in the subject line, put special 50. Okay. If your birthday happens to fall in the month of April, you automatically qualify for the special 50. So make sure you, that you have to distinguish between the two birthday 50 and special 50. Okay. Birthday 50 is a little bit different. If it's your birthday in the month of April, I go all out for you. Okay. So you get a lot more than someone that pays for special 50. Okay. You get more understanding. You could also get a spiritual analysis during your birthday month. Okay. Which is usually full price at 77 80. You get it at 50 bucks. Okay. So, you know, um, Aries take advantage of special 50 this month. All right. Cause this is your birthday month. I love you so much, guys. I do. I really do. My fire signs. I love you. You guys ride for me. Continue to ride for me. I'm a ride for you. Okay. Make sure you thumbs that thumbs up that like button. Hit that, that like button. If you like this reading, hit that like button. 
Okay, let me see that I'm doing good, guys, because you never know what I'm going through. All right, I got to upload your readings. I got to talk about these cards, but nobody ever considers what the fuck is Bella going through. Okay, so it would help me to share the video with your friends. Share it on social media. You have my full permission to share it wherever. Okay, help me to grow. Help me to get my views up. All right. And Aries and Sagittarius, if you want the opportunity to win an hour reading, you want me to announce that in your Zodiac sign, then I get to see more views from you guys. OK. I'll be back with the next element. Thank you, guys. Welcome back, Bella. Thank you, guys. Hello to my lovely water signs. This is Bella Dutch from All Seeing at Tarot. Make sure you wind to the beginning to hear any announcements. This weekend, I am running Special 50, so definitely take advantage of Special 50, okay? Um, this week, it is going to be uh, April the 5th through the 12th, so I am running from Friday to Friday, okay? So this is for Cancer Pisces Scorpio. Spirit of the Universe, what are the messages you have for the Zodiac sign of Cancer Pisces Scorpio for the week of... April 5th through the 12th. Show me my water signs. Here we go, water signs. All right. First card out, we got the chariot. The Hierophant in the reverse. The Ace of Swords. Okay. The Page of Wands in the reverse. Okay. The Four of Cups in the reverse. Under the chariot, we have the Knight of Swords in the reverse. Hmm. The Empress. I was waiting on that because I knew that this was um, for those of you that filed for a divorce and you're waiting to hear a response. Under the Ace of Swords, we have Justice in the reverse. Under the Page of Wands in reverse, we got the Four of Wands. Under the Four of Cups in a reverse, we have the Seven of Swords. Okay. The overall energy at the bottom of the deck is the Hermit in the reverse. All right. So, listen. Listen to me, water signs, okay? Slow down. Slow down. I know you guys are eager to be free. You want to get out of this marriage. You're frustrated. You may have been by yourself for a while. Maybe you're not even with this person. It could be a separation. You already signed the papers. You already filed for a divorce. And you're wondering what's taking so long. Why can't I free myself from my wife? Why can't I free myself from my husband? What's happening? What is going on? The Haberfin is in reverse. Then we have the Ace of Swords with the Justice card. Now let me tell you how many different ways that I could see this. This week. This week you're not going to get the message that you want. All right, so for those of you that are waiting for that final letter that says the divorce has been finalized, you're not going to get that this week. Okay, so it's not going to come through this week. It looks like there's some sort of holdup when it comes to the justice system. Okay, there is an error in communication and it has nothing to do with you and your wife for some of you. Most of all, it has something to do with the justice system. Now, as far as if it did have something to do with you and your wife. And you and your husband. It would be symbolic of owing the government taxes. Okay. Or you bought something. You and your husband. You and your wife. You bought something. And, and it's not settled. All right. So you're waiting to get an actual court date. To be able to be called in to the office. So you can settle this dispute. About finances. Credit card reports. Um, houses. Whatever you guys had to split. Okay, and there's a delay. Spirit wants you to know there's a delay. Now, this is crazy because water signs, I know that you got something that you're trying to get to. 
there's someone you're trying to get to. And you, you got your hopes up high and you believe that you were going to be able to call the love of your life, whoever this person is. You got the four of wands here. So you're not completely single. You may be separated from a partner. You got the hermit in reverse. Some of you are separated. Some of you are not separated. So let me tell, let me help you with this. And you better pay attention. Okay? Because Bella's, you're not going to get it as raw as I give it. Okay? I give you truth. I'm not going to bullshit you. All right? So listen, listen to this. For those of you that are separated from another partner, a new person that came in your life, the love of your life, your karmic soulmate, your life partner, you're separated from this person because you're still legally married. Do not worry. That relationship is not going anywhere. When this divorce finalizes, that person will be right there. I can put, listen, I can put my bottom dollar on the fact that I can guarantee that this person, the love of your life, your life partner, your karmic soulmate, they haven't even been with anyone else. They are on hold just as much as you're on hold. Okay, so stop worrying. I tell you that because we got the four of cups in reverse and then we have the seven of swords. Okay, so it could be I didn't tell my new partner that I was still legally married. I told him I was divorced. That's not really the truth. But I'm having a very hard time going back to this new partner. Why? Well, it could be that maybe you decided that you wanted to buy a house for you and your new partner. Maybe you decided you wanted to get married to your new partner. All right. This is all shit that you would need the ex-wife or the ex-husband to get divorced before you can move forward with this person. So you're very scared. You're afraid. And you're like, oh, shit, maybe I should lie. And maybe I should, um, you know, um, try to go back to this person, and act like I'm divorced. Don't do that. Don't do that. All right. Because if this person is indeed your karmic soulmate or your life partner, it's not going to matter. You can't lie to them. It's impossible. Okay, it's impossible to get away with this. All right. If, if you guys are karmic soulmates, life partners, um, the universe will make sure that this is done right. And there's a reason why they do it like this. Okay. They do it like this so that you don't create any kind of karma, meaning that you don't leave one person and hurt one person to move into a new situation because you can't make yourself happy making someone else miserable. So what, what end up happening is if you were to still be married, for those of you that are still married and you're creeping with someone else, and maybe some of you feel like it's not creeping. Bella, we've been separated for a while. I don't give a shit if you've been separated. If you are still legally married on paper in the court system to your husband or wife and you are fucking somebody else, you are messing around with someone else, it is cheating. All right? It does. Don't try to sugarcoat it. You can't twist it to fit your situation. It is cheating. All right. And you really need to check the partner that you're allowed to do that with, because you're, if you're allowed to still continue to fuck this new person while you're still legally married, I can promise you, I can prom listen to me. I promise you this person is not going to be the person you spend the rest of your life with. This person is not going to be the next person you marry. This person is not going to be in your life after you get out of this marriage. They're not going to be there because they're catalytic. They're a catalyst. When you really have a karmic soulmate or a life partner, spirit will not allow you to deal with your karmic soulmate or your life partner while you're still legally married. So they will separate you. They'll spiritually separate you. Physically separate you. They will make up every excuse in the book to keep the two of you apart until that marriage is dealt with. You have to shut that door before you move into something new. It is their law. It's their way. Remember, I talk to thousands of people. Thousands a week. I'm telling you, it's impossible. They're not going to let that go through. They're not going to turn their head just for your situation when you got thousands of other people that's getting cut off of their karmic situations because their their boyfriend or their, their karmic soulmate girlfriend is still married. All right? You have the hermit card in the reverse. Listen to me. I can bet your ass water signs is coming very soon. It's going to hit you out of nowhere. It might not be the beginning of the week or the middle of the week. It may even be the very end, but you are about to come out of singleness. Okay, because you're about to get some news that this divorce is finalized. 
even though there's a little bit of a delay. It's not going to happen in the beginning. It's not going to happen in the middle of the week. Okay? It may happen at the start of the next week. Okay? Do not try to rush through this thinking that you're going to lose that new partner. You're not going to lose them. You cannot lose your karmic soulmate. When something is meant for you, it is meant for you, Linda. You understand me? Nobody, come hell high water, can pull that away from you. That thing is meant for you. That thing is going to wait for you. Okay? When they're karmic, they're going to wait for you. Okay? As long as you don't go out and get wild and start fucking random people, while you're divorced, while you're waiting on your divorce, you start going out, cheating on your karmic soulmate, the person that you plan on being with. As long as you don't go out and start messing around on them really bad, they're going to be waiting on you. You start going out, messing around on them really bad, what's going to end up happening is this person is going to start getting opportunities. Okay? Uh, quick fun fact. Me and King has been broken up for a while now. Okay. Rick. I have not seen Rick since the end of August. All of a sudden, I get a letter from Rick. You're my twin flame. I love you. A man doesn't realize he got a good thing until it's gone. I know you inside out. I've been with you 27 years. You are the best thing out here. I'm coming home to you. You are my wife, and I am going to marry you this time. So it makes me think, what has King been doing that Rick was allowed? And Rick, is my, he's not my twin flame. Rick was a soulmate. King is over top of Rick. Okay? He's a soulmate. But just a mere thought of why he's starting to feel like I'm still his family or or he's entitled. We're, we're to come back together. I mean, he did. He was real respectful. And he pretty much said, if you got a new relationship, which I pray you don't, I can understand. I'll settle for just being your friend. I do not want to lose you. I cannot lose you. And Rick is someone who has been with multiple women. I've been in Rick's life for 27 years. He knows me like the back of his hand. And he's been free and he's been able to deal with multiple women. And he feels like nothing measures up to what we had or who I am. Okay. But maybe King is starting to mess around. And maybe that's why I'm getting this temptation that's hitting me like this. Do I feel like taking the bait? I don't know. I mean, I you know what? I feel like it sometimes because I am by myself right now and I haven't been with anyone. Okay. And I'm a, I'm a, you know, I get feelings too, but I mean, listen, only time will tell. I'm not going to get too far into that, but only time will tell. But what I will say to you guys is, you know, if you're worried, you're still married and you're trying to let go you're hoping that this divorce gets finalized so you can go back to your partner, okay? As long as there hasn't been you sleeping around with multiple people and getting distracted, that person will still be there when you're ready to go back to them. But if you've been fucking around, you could bet your ass spirit is going to start sending that person temptation, period. Okay? Listen, take advantage of Special 50 this weekend, all right? Also in our tarot at gmail.com. Like, share, comment below, subscribe if you haven't already. Hit your notification button. Definitely share the video, guys. I really, really appreciate if you guys share the video. Okay? Help me to grow. Okay? Um, it's all for you guys. Remember the timestamp below in the comment board if you'd like the opportunity to win a free 30-minute reading. Okay? And until next time, I'll be back with the next element. Welcome back, Bella. Thank you, guys. Next up, I have my wonderful earth signs. Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. This is going to run from the week of April the 5th through April the 12th, Friday to Friday. Okay. Spirit of Universe, what are the messages you have for my Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo for the week of April 5th through the 12th? 
Remember to rewind to the very beginning to hear the announcements and how to how to win a free reading, okay? Okay, one more, guys. Here we go, guys. Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. All right, first card out, we got the Emperor in the reverse. Ten of Cups. The Queen of Pentacles. In reverse, I'm sorry. Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Four of Swords in the reverse. Ace of Cups in the reverse. Oh, wow. Okay. Under the Emperor in reverse, we got the Four Pentacles in reverse. Wow. Something's wrong, guys. What's going on? Under the Ten of Cups, we have the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Under the Queen of Pentacles in reverse, we got the Eight of Pentacles. I don't know why it's all there, it goes. Under the Four of Swords in reverse, we got the Page of Cups in reverse. This is a very sad weekend for my Earth signs. Very sad. Then we have the Chariot under the Ace of Cups in reverse. The overall energy for the week for my Earth signs is the Two of Wands. Okay. So let me tell you this. Earth signs. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. If you expected to get back with your child's father, father of your child, or to even get any money from them to get some help from them, or maybe you wanted to get some help from your husband, you could forget it this week. This week, it's not going to work out like that, okay? I kind of feel like this person is being quite selfish this week. We have the emperor in the reverse and the four of pentacles in reverse. So it kind of symbolizes that maybe this person is going through some sort of um, crisis. They're not able to hold on to the money or the foundation, you know, that they build up. Also, it could be that, uh, they may be recently going through a breakup. Okay. Maybe they're not telling you about a breakup or something like that. We have the 10 of cups with the nine of pentacles in the reverse again. Somebody's going through financial troubles. You got financial troubles that's going on right now. Um, Capricorn, Taurus, definitely Virgo. You got financial crisis. You're in a financial crisis. You really have to work hard right now, okay? You don't have them helping you uh, with your children. You feel like you're losing it. You, you feel like, you know, maybe you blew a lot of opportunities or maybe you finally got your bank account up, but then you had to spend on some bills that was due or something hit you out of nowhere that really took your little bit of savings that you saved up. Excuse me. You have the eight of pentacles. So this is about um, getting your finances back in order and really having to go to work and working hard to prove yourself. All right. You have the four of swords in the reverse and the page of cups in the reverse. Okay, so I kind of get the sense that when I look at these two cards, I feel like usually you're the type of person, um, earth signs, that you don't contact people for help. You may not even contact your baby's father and let them know you, you need help because you're usually very prideful. You usually have, you're on top of your game and you got your shit going on. OK, so you may not even try to call this person to ask for help because maybe this person hasn't been there for a long time. All right. And you expect them not to be able to help you. But I feel like with these two cards being in reverse, four of swords in reverse and the page of cups in reverse, I feel like you're going to break your pride and you're really going to reach out to this person and let them know, listen, I'm fucked up. I need your help with this kid. OK, shit didn't go right for me. I spent my taxes on something I had no business spending my taxes on. Maybe you got a Brazilian butt lifts and shit or new titties or something. And you really got into a real bind and you need some help. We have the Ace of Cups in the reverse and the Chariot upright. This could symbolize for those of you that may have a, child, a baby's father um, that lives out of town. 
Maybe you expected that you were going to go out of town and there will be some sort of reunion that will happen between you and your child's father that lives in another state. And that didn't happen. And you are so disappointed. Your feelings are hurt. Maybe this person claimed that they were so busy and they couldn't make time for you. Okay. Um, this person didn't make time for you. Maybe you, you got your hopes up high because you thought you were going to reconcile. I feel like I'm talking to earth signs that felt like they were going to reconcile with someone that they have children with. Okay. Or their ex-husband. It's just somebody that they got kids with. Right. It doesn't matter which way you did it. Maybe you had to travel to do so. Maybe you extended your offer of love, but it was rejected with the Ace of Cups being upside down. It was rejected. And it's due to mainly because looking at this two of wands, it kind of looks like um, this person at the time, this emperor doesn't feel like he wants to go back down memory lane with you. All right. And it could be because he's in a relationship with someone and it looks like maybe he recently had a breakup. I don't know if you remember like when you guys have a breakup, did you ever have a breakup with somebody you really love that you've been with for a while? And then your ex come back in, your ex from the past come back in, and you're so rude to them. You don't want it. It's kind of like, I don't even crave for that flavor anymore. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's the type of energy that I get looking at these cards. Like, um, you don't want anything to do. They don't want anything to do with their ex at this particular moment because they're broken hearted. They got some shit going on. I'm going to look at some of these cards real quick. Uh, clarify the Four of Pentacles in reverse. Four of Pentacles in reverse. The Empress. Tell me more. The Four of Swords. Oh. The Eight of Swords and the Four of Cups. I feel like, like I said, you know, you guys, I feel like the Earth sign is the actual... Um, wife or the woman, the baby's mom, the girl. I feel like the earth sign is the girl. <laughs> and you got a baby's father, but you want this person back. You really want this person back. Okay. You want your family back. You want to rebuild your family. You feel like something is missing. The only thing that's missing to you is your family. You might have had a great friendship with this person. You're trying to put your family back together, but it seems like this person is stuck in a very depressing situation. They're stuck in a situation they're not even happy in, all right? They're not happy with their wife. They're not happy with their girlfriend or whoever they're with. They're not even happy in this situation, but at the same time, them not being happy in this situation or them going through this recent breakup with another person did not make them want to come towards you. Why? Tell me about that empress. Why didn't they go towards the empress? What's wrong with the empress? Show me. The King of Cups. Tell me more. Uh, uh, uh. Tell me more. The High Priestess and the Page of Swords. Okay, well, they probably didn't come for you. There's one or two reasons why they didn't come for you. All right? You want your baby's father, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, but the problem is you're already spoken for. All right? You could be already spoken for by a water sign. Pisces or Scorpio, all right? You're already spoken for. You're already gearing up. Or you, I'm going to tell you this. I got it. I got it. Thank you. I'm sorry, spirit. Let me back up. I, I'm wrong. So you guys know when I'm wrong, I'll back this shit up. I don't give a fuck who's watching and who don't like it. What spirit is saying to me is that the reason as to why you cannot get with your baby's father, why they're rejecting you is because you had a test before your baby's father. For those of you that happen to have your baby's father and your baby's father is your life partner or your karmic soulmate. Before you were supposed to get to your baby's father, you had a soulmate that you haven't made it to. This person happened to be the king of cups, Scorpio Pisces. Without that part of your lesson, your baby's father will not notice you. Okay, and this is on the Empress. Maybe you're a homebody. You like to stay at home a lot. Okay, you're shy. You met the King of Cups. Yes, Bella, I met a Scorpio Pisces person. But I'm too scared. I, I was too scared to say anything to this person. All right, but then you tried to get with your baby's father. 
okay? And you couldn't get them because you didn't have the proper training. You weren't ready. So when you got to the meeting part, when you got to the meeting mark, you weren't ready to move forward into the, the love because you felt miserably. You, 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 you just wasn't ready to get to the meeting mark. I feel like because um, you didn't complete this task with this water sign, whoever that is. You preferred to stay at home. You didn't want anyone but your baby's father. Okay, nothing else would have done. Nothing else would do for you. But you forget that there is a process to this. Okay, you don't just go off and meet your happily ever after and that's it. There are stair steps that you have to take in order to run into your baby's father or the person, the love of your life. Even if it's not your baby's father or your husband or the person you want to be your husband. There are stair steps that you have to take in order to be recognized by this person. Okay. If you have not taken care of your karmic energy, I call it jumping through the vertex. If you haven't jumped through the vertex, then this person is going to be sure to ignore you. Okay, but if you've taken care of it, you would already be in a relationship. But I really feel that a lot of you, and I feel like I'm talking to a lot of Capricorns because I, I, I believe I've seen this in the zodiac sign of Capricorn. But you know what? This could also be Taurus too because I had Taurus that had a hard time with moving forward. And you know what? Capricorn, Taurus, and even Virgo, you had a contract with, or you have a contract with air signs, okay? Libra and Aquarius in particular. Okay, Libra and Aquarius. But before you actually made it to those karmic partners, you had a soulmate contract that you needed to fulfill. There was a lesson you needed to learn before you got involved with those people. And that lesson was coming through the King of Cups, Scorpio Pisces. If you did not take advantage of that Scorpio Pisces, then you're damn sure ain't going to get that air sign. All right. So this week it's not going to happen. Okay. Like, share, comment below. Subscribe if you haven't already. Hit your notification button. Okay, um, definitely I'm running a special this weekend, special 50. Take advantage of it, all right? You're the third people to know. Hit me up, allseeingitarot all at gmail.com, okay? And make sure in your subject line you put special 50. If you happen to be a Taurus and your birthday runs in the month of April, remember that you automatically qualify for special 50. So definitely, you know, take advantage of that. So in your subject line, if your birthday is in April, make sure you put birthday 50, if you want to take advantage of my special 50 for this week and put special 50, okay? You got 48 hours to book. Please don't ask for an invoice if you're not ready to book, okay? Don't do it. It wastes my time. I love you so much, and I'll be back with the next element. Last but certainly not least, I have my wonderful air signs, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. This is going to run from the week of April the 5th through April 12th. This weekend, the weekend of the 5th, I am running Special 50. Definitely take advantage of that. I encourage Aquarius because you guys are going through a spiritual awakening at this time, as I've seen in your monthlies. So definitely uh, splurge on yourself and, you know, purchase that Special 50 so that we can get into depth on to what's going on in your love life. Okay, guys? Spirit of the Universe, what are the messages you have for Libra, Gemini, Aquarius? For the week of the 5th of April through the 12th of April. Show me the most relevant. Make sure you rewind to the beginning of the video if you'd like to know how to win a free 30 minute reading. Oh God, I got hiccups, guys. Okay, two more. Here we go. Here we go, guys. Okay, babies. We have the sun in reverse. Judgment. Ooh. Page of Pentacles. Temperance in reverse. And the Queen of Cups. Under the sun in reverse, we got the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Under judgment, we have lovers. Under the page of pentacles is the chariot. Under temperance in reverse is the two of pentacles in reverse. Under the queen of cups, we have the hangman. 
overall energy is six of pentacles okay so this is very easy it's not going to take very long air signs all right most of you air signs are going through um some sort of karmic energy that is taking place with the partner that you're engaged to okay and this person could be a water sign that's interfering in your relationship all right now, for some of you, because I'm doing all elements, you know, some of you, especially if you're Aquarius or Gemini, you may be involved with an actual Cancer Pisces individual, okay? And it seems like this relationship is not taken off. Um, it may seem like uh, this person feeds you the bullshit, lies to you all the time, tell you they're going to call you. They don't really call you. But what they're not sharing with you is that there's something in the way as to why they can't get in a relationship with you. If you happen to be Libra and you are linked up to, um, I feel like the link between this Cancer Pisces may be the interference into your already existing relationship with maybe a Leo, okay, or a Sagittarius, because I have the Sun in reverse and the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. You could be finding out that this water sign woman is interfering in your marriage or your long-term um, relationship. Maybe due to the fact that they have a child and they're entering into your partnership. I'm going to tell you something about this woman, uh, Libra. This woman, she's a Pisces or Cancer. She could be a Scorpio as well, but she lives out of town. And it could have happened when you guys broke up. So definitely refer to your monthlies because this is already in your monthlies, Libra. Okay. But as far as Libra or Gemini individuals... I get the sense that maybe you are linked up to a water sign. We have the sun in reverse and the ten of pentacles in reverse. I feel like uh, those of you that are the Gemini in Aquarius, maybe you had your hopes up high about a Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer for a long time. You thought this is the one, all right? You thought this is the partner you're going to spend the rest of your life with. You're going to be together. And boy, was you wrong, okay? Something has come to light. And it's come to light numerous times. It probably came to light that this person is always cheating on you. You have judgment in the lover's card. Even though this person cheats on you on a regular basis, you still um, find a need to take this person back into your life. It could be because you're getting uh, frustrated because you feel like you can't meet the one that's for you. You feel like there is no one person out there for you. Okay, so you go back to what you know especially if you happen to be Aquarius, you go back to what it is that you know. Okay. Um, the problem with that is I kind of get the sense that th this person, while usually running back and forth in and out of your door, kind of seems like they're distracted by something out of town. They're, they're distracted by something else. There's something else that they've been working on. All right. So it's a possibility that you could come up short this week and you might actually do some investigation and you might find out maybe that this cancer Pisces Scorpio has a baby on the way with someone that lives out of town. So it's not just for Libra. It could be Aquarius and Gemini as well. Maybe you were trying to start a relationship with a cancer Pisces Scorpio and you kept wondering why they were never available. Come to find out there's another situation that they had going on. Two of Pentacles is in reverse as well as the Temperance is in reverse. Okay. This person, I don't feel like this is a new person. I feel like this is a person from the past that may be returning. All right. But you guys are not returning. Okay. What does this mean, Bella? Why, why is this happening to me? Well, because I feel like this person that is pregnant or the person that is still in this water sign's life has purpose with them. I feel like it might be karmic in nature. It's a karmic soulmate. Okay. This person, this woman, this man on the side owes your cancer Pisces Scorpio. Owes them spiritually. There's a spiritual debt here with the Six of Pentacles. Okay. So there could be a, a O. Okay. So what am I seeing? I don't even feel like you you should um, interfere with that. You I don't feel like you can interfere with that, honestly. Okay. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, because I'm looking at judgment in the lovers. There's no way you can interfere with that because this is coming from the higher ups. This is a hierarchy uh, situation. This is um, karmic debt at its greatness, at its greatest. You know, 
spirit is busy trying to teach this person a lesson. The hangman is in reverse, which means that their perspective is all fucked up and they don't want to go through the process of changing their perspective. Okay, so spirit had to do something drastic, like get the other person, make sure the other person was pregnant. And now they got to deal with this person for the rest of their life. So it's kind of like getting your ass whooped for the rest of your life. You're dealing with a person that you don't even know, a person you don't even like for the rest of your life because you wouldn't learn the lesson the easy way. Clarify why that hangman is in a reverse. Queen of Swords, Libra, Gemini. Okay. Give me more clarity into the hangman in reverse. We got the five of wands. See, this is competition. Competition that's coming to Libra or Gemini. Okay, this is really going to come to Libra or Gemini. There's competition. I feel like there's a pregnancy with a water sign. Tell me more. Yeah, Knight of Cups. Clarify this Queen of Cups. The Tower. Tell me more. It, especially Libra or Gemini, if you're linked to a water sign. You might be very much so linked to a Cancer or a Pisces and you're having problems in your relationship with this person. That's because they got a baby on the way. We got the Tower and the Death card. Your relationship could be ending this week. The Nine of Swords. And you know what's coming and you may fear that. Or maybe your Cancer Pisces fears that. They fear that they got to tell you the truth. The truth of the matter is that I got a baby on the way. There's a little bit of a hiccup. I fucked up a little bit and I don't know what to do. And I'm hoping that you'll be understanding with me. But nine times out of ten, Libra is not going to be understanding at all. Especially if it's Libra. Libra is not going to be understanding. Okay, so it's going to cause some arguments and some definite fights. I feel like this person lives out of town. Clarify, Chariot. But you know what's crazy to me? The Wheel of Fortune. What's crazy to me is that air signs, I feel like this is really highlighted for the Queen of uh, Swords. That's Libra and Gemini. Not so much as Aquarius, but Libra and Gemini. I feel it's really going to go down in your sign when it comes down to you guys having babies with water signs or... Your water sign person sneaking out on you, having babies on you, or if you're involved with a fire sign. So if I had to share it a little more, especially Sagittarius or Leo. King of Pentacles. Okay, or you may be involved with a Capricorn or Taurus. Uh-oh. Injustice. Uh-oh. So Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, maybe you're involved with a Capricorn or a Taurus individual. You got the Wheel of Fortune. You got Justice. What, what's Justice about? Let me see. Hold up, come on. Connect with me. What's justice about? Nine of Pentacles, Queen of Swords. Okay. Um, this is a totally different story. So you could be connected if you okay, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. I'm gonna say Libra Gemini. If you're connect no, it could be Aquarius too. If you are connected with a Capricorn or Taurus, we got the Wheel of Fortune here. There's a disconnect between the two of you. All right. And it could be because um, maybe something is going on with this Capricorn or Taurus. I feel, I get the sense that maybe they have to do some traveling and it could be due to business with the Nine of Pentacles. The Queen of Swords may be stuck, especially Libra Gemini. Libra Gemini. If you're Libra Gemini and you got a Capricorn or Taurus husband, wife, girlfriend, boyfriend, you might be stuck with the children because your person, your partner, excuse me, got a job where they um, got to travel. And they're going to travel for the month of April and you might be stuck with the children or stuck taking care of the household or something like that. Because they're going to get ghosts on you. Now, clarify the um, King of Pentacles. Knight of Pentacles. Tell me more. Ace of Wands, Five of Cups. Okay. Now, if you happen to be Aquarius and your um, partner, your ex or the person that is in love with you happens to be Capricorn or Taurus... You have the Knight of Pentacles, the Ace of Wands, and the Five of Cups. It's going to take a while before you actually begin to miss this person and want this person back into your life, If you, especially if you're Aquarius, okay? I kind of get the sense that something's going on with Capricorn Taurus, okay? They, they're not complete, well, especially Capricorn. Capricorn's not completing their lesson, 
All right. So they may have reached out to you, tried to be friendly to you and want more of a relationship. But you guys live a distance from one another. Maybe you live in two different states. You have a child together. That's the commonality in between you guys. Um, but you're not really ready to move forward and build a relationship with this person. All right. And it could be because you already have a child with someone else. Now, it's a possibility maybe you'll hook up with this Capricorn Taurus person, but it won't be long term. All right. Maybe it will just be a quick sex, but you don't want. Yeah, you don't want no sort of relationship with this person. Not at this time. All right. You got a lot of shit going on on your plate. Aquarius. Okay, I'm just trying to make sure I got everything. Clarify why the Ten of Pentacles is in reverse. Nine of Cups, tell me more. And the Eight of Pentacles. Injustice. Yeah, because this is symbolizing that baby. Finding out about the child that's on the way with a water sign. Three of Swords. Yeah, this is a painful heartbreak coming out in the open, okay? For my Libra, Gemini. Definitely Libra, Gemini, okay? Um, I feel like this this Queen of Cups is your interruption. I don't feel like this is the person that um, you're with. For a small select few of you, it could be the person you're with. I feel like really you're with a um, Leo or a Sagittarius. And they got a Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio pregnant. And you're finding out. You're going to find out this week. All right? You're going to find out. I can bet your ass you're going to find out this week. You can comment in my comment board below. Okay? I got to go, guys. It's been too long. Listen, this week and take advantage of Special 50. Hit me up. All seeing at gmail.com. Make sure you put Special 50 in your subject line. And I will get back to you. I love you so much, guys. Like it. Share it. Okay, uh, share the video with your friends. If it's not your story, then definitely share it with your friends. Okay, make sure you hit that thumbs up. And definitely, if you have not already, definitely hit the subscribe button. Subscribe, subscribe. There's always something feisty and good and juicy going on over here at All Seeing Eye Tarot. Okay, I'm real. I'm always going to be real. I'm always going to give it to you raw. Until next time, thank you so much.